Trump is heartbroken. Look which one of his best friends just left the White House. One of President Trump's closest friends, Keith Schiller, is leaving the White House for a security business. The aide has worked for Trump since 1999 and is a very close confidant to the president. Keith Schiller is not well known. He is one of the president's closest confidants according to Bloomberg. Here is a little more information about Keith Schiller below. Schiller is leaving the White House to return to private security. He's going to be paid much more than his $165,000 government salary. It may be the most pivotal moment in the presidency still in its infancy, captured by CNN cameras. President Trump's longtime aide, Keith Schiller, leaving the FBI after hand delivering the letter terminating FBI Director James Comey. Today, President Donald J. Trump informed FBI Director James Comey that he has been terminated. An act that put the former New York detective, usually in the background, front and center. The press shy father of two who once served in the Navy joined the Trump Organization as a part-time bodyguard in 1999. So it started as a side gig. You know, I had a great report Trump. I still enjoy that. I had a great relationship. He spoke about being hired in a Facebook interview with a high school friend, Rich Siegel, last year. He says, we'll give you one month. And if you work out well with Mr. Trump, you stay. And if it doesn't work out well, you have to, you know, you two have to mesh. The two men did mesh, and Schiller was eventually named head of security in 2005. It's been an interesting run. He now serves as Trump's director of Oval Office operations, a catch-all title. He is one of Trump's most trusted aides and plays multiple roles for a president who prizes loyalty. Great boss to work for, and, uh, you know, I have nothing but good things to say about him. Frequently spotted by Trump's side, the imposing six-foot-four Schiller often provided muscle for the president during campaign rallies. Come on, Keith, go. Knowing what I had, had done over the years, right, you know, I, I, I'm no stranger to putting my hands on people. Even if it creates controversy, a protester is suing Schiller and Trump after Schiller punched him outside Trump Tower in 2015. Sit down, please. You weren't called. And he kicked Univision anchor Jorge Ramos out of a press conference in Iowa in the summer of 2015 for trying repeatedly to ask Trump about immigration. Yes, go ahead. Open and while Schiller is not interested in celebrity for his own right, he has found himself in the spotlight before, taking part in a staged altercation with Trump and wrestling promoter Vince McMahon in 2007. But he's not likely to be jumping in front of television cameras again anytime soon. I know my role. Like my role is to be on camera. Very interesting. Trump is supposedly crushed by his departure from the president. He is very close to the uh, to the president. Schiller has worked with Trump for two decades and is the president's protector inside the West Wing. He's a confidant and friend, says Stuart Jolly. He is the national field director for the Trump campaign. He continued, Trump trusts Keith and Keith trusts him. Trust is a really big deal at that level. According to Bloomberg, Schiller does Trump's dirty work. He was the one that told James Comey he was fired two weeks ago. <laughs> Trump fired George Jigikos. Uh, after his Phoenix rally, and it was Schiller that delivered the news. Schiller has told friends that he felt pushed out by former Marine General John Kelly. He said that Kelly has tightened security in the Oval Office and doesn't let as many people get to the president. Schiller has said that it has become demoralizing. Share this if you wish Schiller the best of luck and are praying for our president and his allies. Uh, leave his side? That doesn't make sense. But in other words, did you see this part? Schiller told his friends that he felt pushed out by former Marine General John Kelly. He said that Kelly has tightened security in the Oval Office and doesn't let as many people get to the president. 
Schiller has said that this has become demoralizing. You know, see, I don't trust what Kelly is doing right now to Trump, and that's why people are leaving him left and right, and I'm kind of uh, concerned about this. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below, and again, thank you so much for watching.